This video will cover all of the data components within the form builder and all of the unique features and settings each component offers and is used for. Data components are fields that can be used to manipulate the way data is presented, saved, and organized. Hidden fields are not visible to form users but can handle behind the scenes calculation or logic needed to facilitate more advanced workflows on your form or application. The hidden component can be used for things like storing data, performing calculations, validations, or conditional actions in conjunction with form logic. The container is a hidden component that is used to organize multiple fields within a single container. The fields inside the container are put into an object with a container key. That container key is based on the API property name of the container. This component serves as a building block for creating complex form layouts and structures. For example, fields could be included in a container field called user information. I have first name, last name, and email. When I fill out the form and submit it, navigate to my data tab and export the JSON data. I can see that my user information is all contained within this container key user information. The data grid allows users to add a grouping of user components on a line item grid. When the data grid is added to the form builder, there'll be a blue drop space where components can be added to the data grid. Components can be moved around the grid to reorganize the fields. As the end user, I'm able to input my data, add new rows, and remove rows. Configure the component settings to control aspects of the data grid's UI, like the add another button. Setting the required validation will require all fields have input data before the form can be submitted. Setting the validation minimum and maximum link will dictate the amount of rows that can be added or removed from the data grid. So I have my minimum validation set to two, so the data grid will initially display two rows. Once I add my third row, the add another button is removed from the data grid UI. Due to the horizontal form space the data grid utilizes, the component is better suited when smaller number of fields are required and when row data should be shown or displayed. A common example of this component could be a set of emergency contact fields for a student permission slip or job references on a job application form. The edit grid behaves similar to the data grid and enables the form designer to create dynamic forms with repeatable instances or sets of data. Once I add a edit grid to the form, there will be a blue drop space within the edit grid where I can drop my components. When I use the form as the end user, I can add a new um, section of the edit grid or row. Once saved, that information will save as a row where the um, end user can either edit the row or remove the row. Layout components can also be added to the edit grid to organize the fields how you see fit. The edit grid template can also be modified, uh, which will dictate what components within the edit grid will display within the saved row. There's also an option to enable um, a modal when a new row is added. 
So for example, I have an edit grid here with uh, about seven different fields, and I only want to display four or five of these fields when a row is saved. Um, number one, because it's the most relevant information to present, and number two, to save uh, horizontal space on my form. So I have the modal edit enabled for the edit grid. So when I click add another, a uh, nice modal will appear here. All right, I'm almost done filling out the form. And once we save, this information will save to the row. However, only the components that I have um, configured within my template will display within the saved row. The edit grid is better suited when multiple instances of similar data should be saved to a grid uh, that contains a large grouping of fields. For example, if a grid is needed to input employee record data that contains a multitude of different fields. Make sure and visit our help documentation linked in the description of this video for more information about Formio components.